down to which decisions are made by the coaching staff. Yeah, and that's how it usually works in this kind of game. I mean, and I think coaches relish that role, having a chance to make an impact on the game. They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. I mean, it's early enough that they have plenty of time to make adjustments, but their D has to improve. Here's Jay. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. Jay's got it, got five. And, and guys, it's going to take something very good from the D to stop him from that range, and that was not going to get it done. Here's prime time. There's the pick. Passes it to ball. Beyond the arc. Wow, came this close to a four point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Yeah, good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. Especially on the three point attempt. I mean, you have to defend that shot without fouling. Now you give a guy three free throws. And he knocks down the first one. Some good play tonight for Little General. He's already got nine points, and he's done a little bit of work behind the arc. He's got a pair of three-pointers. And you know what? The defenders have that in the back of their minds now. They'll be on him a little tighter. That one is no good. And he nails the third. Here's Jay, and so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. He's made three of his four free throw attempts in the game. And, and you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. As a matter of fact, a lot of his points came from the strike. He was feeling it. Yeah, guys, I mean, he's been a very steady hand for them when it comes to his free throw shooting. 13 feet away. That one's off. He's now one for two. And the call will be against primetime. That is his first foul of the game. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. And, and you can tell they're just a little out of sync. I think he just wants to get everybody back on the same page. Yeah, I like this timeout, Greg. I think it's a good one because it looks like they need a, a minute to talk things through here. Jay, the pass to Fresh, tries it from 19. No good on that one. Tipped away. Uncovered. Chalk up two there. Jay's got it. Got eight points. The entire defense was frozen foot. Nobody picked up the shooter, Kevin. Here's Little General. He's got ten. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And trailing here in the early going, too many careless fouls, and they're giving up a lot of trips to the line. Yeah, not only the trips to the line are a concern, but the foul trouble also. You've got to play defense with your feet and do so without foul. Jay, the pass to T. Here's Shorty. It's good from long range. Shorty's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. From deep. Prime time, the pass to prime time. Off target from outside. goes jamming that one home and 
And that is a major league flush right there, my friends. And in a tight contest like this, Greg, that might be just what they need to get the tide rolling in their direction. You're exactly right. I mean, so often when a team gets that kind of explosive play out of its backcourt, that can really rally and galvanize the whole squad. Will not drop. He's shooting three for eight and not happy about it. That's good, and it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. He's one of the best in the league at that. Even with just a tiny sliver, he always seems to find a way to get it up and in. And Little General gets the whistle that time. And that'll be his third foul so far. You know, it's really a bit surprising that the coach kept him on the floor this long. Uh, and because he did, he's picked up his third foul now. 158 left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Fresh. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Here's prime time. Ball stolen. Here's Jay. The shot misses. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. We've got 123 left in the first quarter. The pass to prime time. Down to five on the shot clock. Will it go? That one's in. Only his fourth make against nine total shots. And really the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts. Doing all he can to bring them back. Pass to Shorty. Inside. Power down. Both hands. This guy is a high flyer. I mean, especially for a power forward, and he needs to be as an undersized player. Kicks to Scott. Passes it to prime time. Here's prime time. Here's Little General. And the layup falls. Little General's got 17 now. I mean, he's just been brilliant today, guys. And it was the same exact story last time out. I wasn't quite sure if he'd be able to maintain that same level of play. I had my doubts coming into this game. But consider my doubts disappear. Here's prime time. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Shoots the three. He scores his sixth bucket from the floor with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. I don't think they can ask much more of him than what he's done this quarter. Here's Jay, and he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. He had nice, strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. Full throttle, pedal to the metal, attacking basketball. I like that. And he's taking care of the hard part tonight, which is getting to the line. But, but he hasn't finished the job once he gets there. And the second free throw, good. 11 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's prime time. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. Here's Jay. He got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so...